me those divas of disco any day. Gloria Gaynor. Not a summer. And Miss Alicia Bridges. I love the na -na. Oh, I like to boogie on the disco floor. My God, have you ever seen anything more beautiful? Gay TV is taking over. Everyone from Ellen DeGeneres to Will and Grace to the Queer Eye guys have created a must-see pink TV. Woo! Sounds hot! But most of these big gay shows tiptoe around one thing. The sexual part of homosexual. That's where Showtime's Queer as Folk comes in. Sorry! It not only shows the explicit sex. People want sexy. They want hot. It also takes all of gay culture and brings it out of the closet. I think it's the first show to show people as three-dimensional sexual creatures. Sorry. F***ed him. I am. How was he? Fabulous. It's shocking much in the same way that Sex in the City sex scenes were shocking when that first premiered. Think of Queer as Folk as sort of a gay version of Sex in the City, without all the Manolos. Can't okay, wait. Sure you're up for it? He's up for it. And with much hotter guys. Set in the outrageous Pittsburgh club scene, Queer as Folk revolves around the lives of the gayest group of leading men in television history. I need you. You think you do. There's Brian. He's slept with almost every gay man on the planet. I love is something that straight people tell themselves they're in so they can get laid. Then there's Justin. He's a high school kid who loves Brian. I just saw the face of God. His name is Brian Kinney. Meet Michael. He also loves Brian, but knows nothing will ever come of it. I know that you'll always love me, no matter what. I do. Ted's a repressed accountant with self-esteem issues. I was rejected by everybody. Emmett is flamboyant, out, and loving every minute of it. You're in love, love, love. There's also a whole network of family and friends, like the lesbian couple, Lindsay and Melanie. You and me. Signed. Sealed. And delivered. Audiences were initially drawn in by the raw sex and sensationalism. But they stayed for the stories of love and heartbreak. I want you. I can't have it. When you boil it down and you strip away the sex and you strip away the fact that it's about a bunch of gay men, you're looking at relationships. He's not your boyfriend. Brian doesn't do boyfriends. Where are you headed? I'm that special. I can change that. When Queer as Folk premiered in 2000, it started off with a bang, literally. Within the series' first 15 minutes, 17-year-old oh, yeah. Justin loses his virginity to Brian, a much more experienced, older man. The first time that Brian and Justin had sex was sort of jaw-dropping, because it was really graphic gay male sex. It was not only the first sex scene between Brian and Justin, it was the first sex scene we did on Queer as Folk. So what do you like to do? Do? Watch TV? Play Tomb Raider. I'm in bed. The two actors had barely been on camera doing anything, much less fooling around with another guy. This is fine. They barely had met. Hello, I'm Gail. Hello, I'm Randy. All right, take off your clothes and get into bed. We were all very nervous. I mean, we're not used to writing this stuff, shooting this kind of stuff. There's always really intense vulnerability about the entire taking your clothes off and trying to communicate with someone. The guys weren't the only ones having sex problems. Straight actresses Michelle Clooney and Taya Gill had never gone girl before. Next time we'll feed them together. You can give them my breast. So before their first shoot, they secluded themselves for a little lesbian practice time. The first scene together, we, we not only had to kiss, but I was cupping her breast and kissing it. We both felt as though we had to be very comfortable with each other. That night, before we started, the next day, we got together at my hotel room. I said, what do you think? Should we read the script? I remember we just jumped on our bed in the hotel room and sort of got on our knees and, and jumped around on the bed. And we looked at each other and we said, you know, we might as well practice kissing because it, it's going to have to look natural. Because that's all we can do for now. <laughs> I would never have done that with a guy. I would not call my male co-star and say, hey, do you want to practice kissing? <sighs> it's 
just so much more fun to be able to to feel like you know she was up to to playing around, so to speak. Queer as folk was nothing until it filled the roles of its queer folks. And unlike the characters, those early casting calls were not easy. Oh. Ma, stop pinching my cheeks. Well, bend over so I can pinch the other. <laughs> An awful lot of actors in the talk who were told by their agents and managers that this was not a good career move for them. They could not get anyone to return their phone calls. What exactly does one have to do? No agents, no actors wanted to touch this project. It was just too scary. This is the reality, sweetheart. It took a show of support from Cagney and Lacey star Sharon Gless to really get things moving. I am proud to have a gay son. We know. I had never seen the likes of this script. It was so sexually graphic. These boys were going to take off their clothes and they were going to do this in front of the nation. You have a beautiful body. I know. I smell trouble. And I like trouble. And I want to be a part of it. So Sharon took on the role of gay-friendly waitress Debbie Novotny. Check this out. Ta-da! <laughs> Al Sparks signed up to play Debbie's gay son, Michael, whose infatuation with his best friend, Brian, is at the heart of the show. Just the sheer fact that people were afraid to do it made me rush to the audition. Did I tell you what I found on eBay? A vintage Mego Linda Carter Wonder Woman doll. Soon, the rest of the cast fell into place. Well before their lesbian love practice, Michelle Clooney and Taya Gill proved they had the right fiery chemistry. Well, there's some men who uh, actually believe that the act of circumcision is, is very barbaric and cruel. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't care what men think about their b****s. I just care that you put Brian before me. <laughs> Scott Lowell and Peter Page clicked instantly as Ted and Emmett. It turns out he's a big melly bottom. <laughs> their quirky friendship adds a comic edge to the show's more serious stories. What do you think? You put the gay back in geisha. Yet there still wasn't anyone to play Brian, the charismatic man's man at the center of the story. There was no one to play this part. At the 11th hour, we were willing to take anybody who was breathing. It's been a pleasure. Can be even more of one. Excuse me? With the deadline to find Brian fast approaching, the casting director got lucky. Finally, we get a call at 5 o'clock, and all I hear is, he's here. So we ran over to her office, we sat down, she brings in Gail Harold. We owe it all to him. And I said to him, Gail, can you come to the test on Monday? And I remember he was just sort of sitting there with a cigarette. <sighs> no, can't be there. No. <laughs> Gail's indifferent self-confidence told them one thing. Their search was over. It just seemed really exciting, you know, a unique opportunity. Coming up, Justin and Brian's old-fashioned gay prom. Save the last dance for me. Some of them had the natural response. Those two guys are making out. Plus, life imitates art as a gay teen stands up for his own prom rights. Being rejected by your own school is very heartbreaking. He walked on the set and I basically burst into tears. I was just so proud of it. Plus, actor Scott Lowell's trip to hell and back. I am happy and I am having fun! That day could not have ended sooner for me. Next, as VH1 goes inside Queer as Folk. Touch the sky.